नमस्ते टू ऑल वेलकम दिस मॉर्निंग सेशन वी आर वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग एक्सरसाइज टू सो लेट मी ब्रीफ द फोर स्टेप्स देन वी मे स्टार्ट विथ योर ऑब्जर्वेशन so in this exercise too basically we are trying to observe the self the body and the interaction between the two so basically i am trying to observe my activities activities of the body and the interaction taking place between the two so in step 1 to 4 if we see first we are trying to observe that self and body are two distinct realities i exist and body exist i exist because i am able to see activities going on in me body exist because i am able to see activities going on in the body so based on this direct observation i can say i and body both exist with this in step 2 we are trying to observe interaction between the two so we have seen that i am interacting with the body with my choice with my decision and i give instructions to the body and i read sensation from the body whenever i think it is important so when i think now it is important to instruct the body then i instruct the body when i think it is important to read sensation from the body i read sensation from the body and i read a particular sensation of the body with my decision so in this sense we have seen that sensation and instruction reading sensation and instruction is an information so this reading sensation is taking place in the form of information and i am giving instruction in the form of information so only the information is being exchanged between me and the body no physiochemical things is being exchanged between me and the body so it is very important to note that physical things when comes into the touch of the body some sensations take place but i am not but i can read only the sensation that is an information similarly i can instruct the body in the form of information so objective of this step 2 is to observe that in interaction between the two is in the form of information only no physiochemical things is taking place between the two then in step 3 we are trying to observe who is the decision maker so with the observation we can see i can see that i am the one who decides to give instruction to the body i am the one who think to read some sensation from the body if i think it is important to read so i am decision maker i interact with the body as and when i require i interact the body time to time when i think it is important so we can note here that we are not interacting with the body all the time when we think it is important to interact with the body we interact otherwise we are involved within ourselves in our imagination so objective of step 3 is to observe who is the decision maker so in step 3 we are able to see that i am seer i am doer and i am enjoyer i am seer because i observe i am doer 
because I decide when to interact with the body, when not to interact with the body. And I am experiencer because I am the one who experiences happiness or unhappiness of my decisions. So in step three, we are trying to see that I am seer, doer and enjoyer. Body is my instrument. With this, we are trying to observe distance between the self and body in step four. So when I take decision to read any particular sensation taking place in the body, then I am asking, am I the sensation? While observing, I am asking these questions. Am I the sensation? Am I in the sensation? Am I separate from the sensation? So this step four will help us to realize that I am separate from the sensation. That's why I am not bound to read all the sensation. I read sensation with my decision when I think it is important to read. Otherwise, I have choice not to read the sensation. And many times it happens that we are discussing for last few days that it is our choice to read or not to read. And many times we are not aware also that there is a body when we are indulged within our imagination. So we use our body when we think now it is important to interact with the body. So in this sense, step four is important. This step helps us to understand that I am not a sensation. I am not in the sensation. I am, and I am also a separate from the sensation. So in this sense, I am not bound with the body. And with this step five, in step five, we are discussing the sources of sensations. So four possible sources we have studied. Number one, when we are interacting with someone, the other person's sound words touch comes to my body and it creates some sensation. Second source is some physiochemical changes happening and this physiochemical changes happening in my body with the touch of environment and when I de decide to read it, I read it. Third source is many events are happening within the body and if I want to read those sensations, I can read those sensations with my decisions. And fourth source is there is imagination in me which is going on with feelings, with thoughts, with expectations. And if something is happening in my imagination, it also impacts my body if I am not aware of it. And due to this, also there are sensations in the body. So these four possible sources are having effect on the body in the form of sensation. And if I decide it is important to read those sensations, I read it. If I decide not to read it, I don't read it. So this we are discussing from last few days, step one to five. And we will go more in more detail of this step five. But we can start with observation. And could we observe these four sources of the sensation? So we can share observation and by discussing, we will move in next sub steps of this step five, right? But yeah, thousands of sensations are happening in the body, right? Due to the four sources. Yesterday, mm -hmm. I made attempt mm -hmm. to observe these four sources of sensation. By yeah, first mm -hmm. sensation. Usually during the morning session, 
I will be listening and watching. Sometimes I will be distracted by some known faces during walking, and I will say hello to them. During those few minutes, though the sensation is going on, that is, the words are reaching my eardrum, but myself is paying attention or priority to that neighbor. So I can't make it out what was discussed. When I am back to the session, I am able to make sense what is discussed in the session. So this is my first source of sensation, Baya. I am getting distracted by that neighbor, though words are reaching my ears. I can't make it out because my attention has drawn towards that neighbor. Then right. my second, G Baya, my second source of sensation, Baya. I am sitting in the room, and I was writing in my journal. My attention was in writing. Fan is running, air is circulating. Only when I pay attention, I can sense the cool air touching my body. Otherwise, I am busy in my writing. Also, at the same time, when I pay attention to the pen. i can see my hand i can i can feel the sensation of pen in my hand otherwise i don't feel that pen but though i am writing i don't feel the pen the sensation of pen in my hands similarly bhaiya when i remember and recall the presence of clothes on my body i sense that those clothes are touching my body otherwise i don't have the feel of clothes on my body the same thing applies for my slippers and other accessories also bhaiya then ji the regarding my third source of uh, sensation bhaiya i am breathing continuously only when i notice i could sense the observe, i could sense the movement of my abdomen up and down otherwise i don't sense its movement by ya then regarding my fourth source of sensation that is my imagination whenever i am in anxiety fear stress or unable to take a decision for quite a long time i could clearly see and feel a burning sensation in my stomach and there will be a necessity for me to use the washroom more frequently so i could see when i am having conflicting thoughts these two sensations happening in my body so the imagination having an effect on my body but when i am resolved i am able to clearly sense that there is no burning sensation no you no necessity to use the washroom frequently so the conclusion i am drawing is that by a at a particular moment thousands of sensations are taking place in the body internally as well as externally in the environment when i do some activities like drinking cleaning walking similarly holding a pen standing on the floor so thousands of sensations are happening at a particular moment at the same time because of my imagination also only if myself decides to pay attention only then i feel and read that sensation otherwise i am not at all aware of that sensation at all by ya so this was my uh, reflection and observation about the four sources of sensation by ya and really it was an eye opener uh, session for me by ya i was as i mean i have been attending this morning session for quite a long time but after this session i could clearly make it out and read many of the sensations which i have not paid attention by thank you so much your comments on it by very nice didi you have shared all the four sources and you have observed it very sharply it is good that our awareness 
is increasing day by day right and all the four sources you were able to figure it out that that is very nice today and you have expressed also so well with clarity so regarding sharing number one when you are walking and other people are talking to each other and you are also listening this session so it is good that you are able to see that it is my decision mm. to listen those neighbors or those persons or to listen the session so mm. both voices are coming both sounds are coming mm. to your ear mm. but when you decide to listen or hear this session you focus on it when you decide to listen others you don't focus on the session you focus on the other stock mm. so this is our decision you know, sounds are mm. coming but this is our decision and you are able to take decision with awareness this is very good mm. thing, right so this is what we are saying through in this exercise too that sensations are taking place but it is my decision when to read what to read so when i think se se session is important then i read sensation coming from this session when oh. i think other stocks are important then i start reading those sound which are coming from other stock so it is our choice and you have seen it with awareness with very nice then regarding second uh, sharing writing with pen feeling touch of clothes again didi mm. we have many sensation at that time when you are sitting on the chair touch of the chair you know your uh, hand may be touching with the table that sensation mm. also taking place you are uh, holding the pen that sensation mm. is also taking place fan is moving out that sensation is also taking place so at a time many sensations are taking place but mm. we are able to see that i decide to read the sensation coming with the touch of that pen pen so i mm. read that sensation at the same time if i decide to read the sensation happening because of that touch of clothes then i read that sensation mm. similarly if i decide to read the sensation which is coming which is happening with the touch of that chair then i read that sensation so Jee. we are with choices what sensation mm. i have to read what sensation i have not to read so you, once you decide no i will read the sensation of that pen touch of the pen then you read that sensation mm. so again it is important that you are able to see that with the decision i am reading this sensation yeah. particular sensation otherwise physiochemical activities are taking place you know whenever body yeah. comes into touch of other things like pen air uh, sitting chair slippers but i decide what to read what not to read so it that in that sense it is nice sharing with you and last one is very important that you are able to see it whenever i have contradiction in my imagination and this is very nice sharing with you that you are able to see that some burning sensations in your stomach in your body so activities are taking place in my imagination contradictions are in my imagination but it is impacting our body mm. and this fourth sense uh, sharing is very important that you are able to see it and so once i am aware that sensations are taking place and once i am aware the source of it then it will be easy for us to resolve all those issues so if i know that yes. this sensation burning sensation is because of my imagination so i can now work on my imagination and so it is easy mm. for me now that i have to work on myself this burning sensation will mm. go so very nice sharing with you you shared all the sources 
very clearly, very nicely. And you are able to see that it is my decision, which sensation I have to read, which I don't have to read. Nice, Didi. If you want to share anything or ask any question, then I may respond also. But sharing is very good, Didi. Thank you so much, Vaya, for facilitating this uh, learning. Because quite some time I'm attending, but I was not focused on that sensation and I was not observing. This time I could make it out, Vaya. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Vaya. That's it from my side. Okay. Thank you, Didi. Keep practicing it. Then when we'll move, yeah. we will move into sub steps of this step five. Then you will, we all will go. We we all will get a deeper understanding of this interaction. Yeah. Sure, so sure, nice sure. Bhaiya. Thank you so much. So, uh, Bhaiya, this is the, the sharing that I want to uh, have that like last to last day. I wanted to keep it that that ma'am was in the session. So, uh, Samira Devi was in the session uh, last time. She told me to share it. So, it uh, it was just uh, the interaction. Uh, it was just that when we were asked to observe the behavior of other, others and what uh, uh, we are uh, uh, actually comprehending it and how we are trying to respond to it. So, uh, there it, uh, uh, once it happened that a person uh, whom I uh, uh, like, dislike you may say so once it so happened that uh, that he came in front of me and then i uh i tried to uh have a conversation with him like there is some um what you call uh ongoing uh, like 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 the person also doesn't doesn't like likes to me and uh still still we are in the same colleagues at, at work workplace so uh, so um uh, i try to have a conversation but th at the same time what it, it happens uh, that uh, the person reacted and then again i mean at, at the same time i i, I reacted bad so it uh, misfired on my uh, uh, imagination and then i was so uh, uh, agitated at that time that uh, i could not so um, then I could see that uh, that this is this is all uh, uh, a, a chain of reaction that happened, but it happened so instantaneously that I could not uh, 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 stop it to happen. Though I do, I though I didn't want it to. So so this is uh, this is the thing that has happened. Uh, but uh, but but now when I see uh, like uh, so this is only with uh, uh, one person. Sometime it happens. Then again. Uh, uh, like uh, again, and uh, last day also, it once happened that somebody uh, whom I expected something to happen, and then it didn't happen. So uh, I I I I I uh, expected some behavior, but it was not uh, received. So then again, I uh, I reacted it reacted in in my in myself. Uh, Though I had the light of right understanding in, in myself, maybe that was not uh, um, like when I clear it myself that what do I want and what what is uh, uh, like what do I need to have the, the understanding of like the, the right right understanding of relationship, the coexistence and the, the all the feelings that we need to have. So maybe uh, like I'm trying to have those. Uh, a right understanding in me but uh, uh, but i think uh, um, uh, i think i'm practicing a bit but uh, a rigorous practice is needed as i already mentioned once uh, i had a talk with you also like uh, how to sharpen your ob uh, observance observe ob observation so you told uh, that uh, the only way that our decision to observe ourselves at, at uh, any point of time, whatever. So, so currently, the status is very uh, good for me, I guess. Uh, like, though uh, some reaction happens, then I'm, then I'm able to come up uh, uh, like in a normal state very easily. Then uh, it used to take some time. Earlier, it used to take some time for me to come back. But now it's uh, a little 
like like early i am able to understand myself a more a bit clearer that what do i really want out of me and then out of other person how should i take it forward so your uh, your guidance would be a very uh, very your guidance okay. would be in the area so i will respond it briefly because primarily we are doing this exercise too and your question is related to exercise 1 but no problem i will uh, respond to you uh, no way actually the behavior uh, that uh, i saw with other person and then uh, it uh, uh, i took something uh, from outside and then uh, mm -hmm. i reacted so it was a step exercise exercise 2 on me i would say okay. and uh, the some part which like uh, we have to always see the self right uh, when whenever we are uh, interacting with the body so uh, again uh, the understanding part which is uh, not crystallized maybe that will uh, that that came to my mind that that's why i spoke but it related to step 2 only okay 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 so what is happening in this situation when you interact with someone and someone is talking with you and maybe he is shouting or something else but he is talking to you and sound comes into your ear you know this is happening with the body sound comes some sensation takes place it is happening in the body so let's discuss your whole scenario one by one so step 1 is other person is saying something step 1a is that sound comes into your ear and some sensation takes place are you able to see this bhaiya uh, yeah, yes sir yes okay then what next is when this sensation takes place i decide to read this sensation i had a choice i had a choice whether to read this sensation or not to read this sensation but i decided to read uh, that sensation okay yeah, i have this one doubt in this step that mm -hmm. uh, fine uh, like some sensation came to me and then uh, like it has registered already you know then how how come it is like of course like some sensations i am not able to notice at all whatever happening but sometimes it automatically get registered like somebody is speaking and then even uh, uh, realizing that it it has registered it is it registered uh, wait bhaiya wait hai na i am moving slowly gradually so just wait for my uh, full answer sure. so i am moving step by step so sound comes into your ear this is one part now you decide na you take decision whether to read this sensation or not if you decide to read this sensation then you start reading this sensation and when you are reading this sensation now my consciousness is involved my sanskars are involved while reading this sensations we are not reading this sensation as an physiochemical activities happening in the body otherwise what is happening at the level of body some physiochemical activities is taking place because one sound has come into your ear it is purely physiochemical activities at the level of the body but when i am decide to read it and when i read it i read it with my sanskar i read this sensation in conjunction with my sanskar and when i am reading the, reading it this sensation i associate meanings in conjunction with my sanskar so what is registered in me i have registered some assumptions or some reaction about that person this is registered in me my my consciousness in my imagination and when i am reading that sensation and when i come to know that this sound of that person 
then my sanskar is starting you know, with reaction because of sanskar in my reaction i am not i am not aware that i have choice to be with feeling of relationship or to be with feeling of opposition but i have registered some past behavior of that person with that registered thoughts about that person i am reading that sensation so this is the next part where self comes into picture with its sanskar are we able to see it bhaiya is it making sense uh, or not uh, yes bhaiya because definitely uh, the thing yeah the, the past sanskar that you you mentioned i think maybe the uh, the right understanding is not crystallized one thing is that and uh, other thing is that like so, so many uh, assumptions about the other person i have in my mind because of the past behavior the past uh, um, uh, things that have happened between me and him or her whatever so uh, so i think that is what uh, uh, make me uh, uh, like make me not be a more observant but uh, those sanskaras which I, which i have or those past thoughts which i have already in my mind about him or her so that uh, make have taken over right yes. so what i am doing i am not reading that sensation as it is i am reading that sensation with my assumptions that i have made for that person otherwise it is only a physico chemical activity that has happened in my body but when i read it i start giving it meaning and that meaning depends on my sanskar so once i recognize that this sensation is coming from uh, that person now i am reading this sensation with all my sanskar that i have made within myself and if i have made some wrong assumption about the human being an assumption not based on the reality then i start reacting it if my sanskars are based on my knowing the reality then i may respond it so i may react it i may respond it it depends on the understanding of my consciousness what i have understood the reality if i have understood tend the reality i have understood the reality properly then i have choice to respond this sensation but because i have many assumptions about me about other person so now i start reacting with that sensation so what we have to do now if we are able to see this scenario step by step now there is hope to work in my consciousness because sensation is sensation sound is has come it touches your ear some physiochemical activities taken place at the level of your ear body it is purely physiochemical thing but when i start reading it i start with many assumptions and with that assumptions i have choice i may start reacting it on the basis of feeling of opposition or i may start responding it on the basis of my understanding of reality so here is a scope to work now on my consciousness so ask yourself do you have this choice or not in your consciousness to respond that sensation or to react that sensation if you don't have any choice then you will react only but if you ask yourself do we have any choice what i have misunderstood it if you explore it then you will be in a position to respond that sensation is it okay bhaiya uh this when i see it when i reflect it reflected it back so i i i observe that uh, the uh, the the potential of other person and uh, the uh, the incompetence within me so i realized that this uh, uh, this 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 is the not this was not the right way definitely i slipped the, in in my behavior at that time i also reacted back so i i completely uh, 
they could not accept it the accept it but uh, yeah given the fact that uh, this uh, choice uh, we all have that uh, that you you are uh, not accepting the other person but you ask yourself what is naturally acceptable to me to have a feeling of a relation or feeling of opposition once you decide what feeling is naturally acceptable to me then you may decide now how to respond the other person and once you decide that i have to start with the feeling of relationship because it makes me happy once i decide feeling of relationship then i start thinking how to express this feeling of relationship then i take decision to formulate few language few words then i give instruction to the body and you know, i now speak like this so this sequence is in my hand yeah we, you know? uh, we, when you don't see the same uh, being reciprocated by other then uh, then you stop right? right so the same is not being reciprocated by other it is his or her choice but what is your choice what is naturally acceptable acceptable to you this you have to explore yeah but like naturally within me i can uh, be in a relationship with uh, anybody outside the world but how to express how much to express that i need to uh, see at any given it is not a matter of how much we have to express it is a matter of how long i can have a feeling of relationship so if i am with my natural acceptance if i my sanskars are based on my uh, the reality reality of relationship harmony and coexistence then feelings can be ensured in continuity in me because now my feelings are based on the understanding of relationship harmony and coexistence now i have decided to go with feeling of this harmony coexistence and relationship with my decision now i will continue this feeling so this is not the question that how long how much i will express question is am i clear what feeling is naturally acceptable to me am i clear about my sanskars whether they are based on the understanding of relationship harmony coexistence or based on some assumptions so if we are not working on it then all these questions will come to your mind and again and again so it is happening with one person next day it may happen with another person right right, right. right. no when right now i am in a good state on like i am able to uh, have uh, harmony har- harmonious uh, feelings inside me uh, all the time but sometimes uh with uh, the person whom you have long attachment and then uh, the same thing not being reciprocated then then uh i think sometimes the feelings get disturbed but at the same feeling time feeling gets I disturbed see... because feeling gets disturbed because we start with expectation we don't start with feeling of relationship if we are starting with feeling of relationship then i will be happy this is ensured others may right, respond right, right. according to me may not respond according to me but if i am starting with expectation my sanskars are like this that other person should do this must do this at least understand this so all this happening in my sanskar so i will be in a reaction at again and again because i have a potential to see my sanskar i have a potential to reevaluate my sanskar on the basis of relationship harmony and coexistence and we are not doing this we are only expecting others and other is free to do according to his sanskar or her sanskar not what you can do so right, what right. choices you are with in your consciousness work on it right so bhaiya just to uh, summarize like what uh, you brief that when uh, a sound is coming or when any any behavior i see or when any other person i see so um, what uh, decision i take to uh, 
like if some some physical physi- physi- chemical sensation happened like for example if i see somebody or uh, if i if, it's, if any sound from the other person came so uh, after registering it what in in myself the uh, the the st- what meaning i associated with those uh, all the sensations that arise that is what uh, made me uh, uncomfortable am i clear bhaiya yes 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 okay. so you so have I some assumptions yeah. about that person and whenever you read that sensation coming from that person you start with this that this, this person is not good this person is wrong you start with this assumption that's why reaction comes into your consciousness then you take decision to speak particular word then you take decision you instruct your body to say that word this is the sequence that is going on but where is the possibility to correct all these thing possibility is my assumptions i can correct my assumptions this is the possibility to be in harmony right bhai yeah yeah okay bhai i will work okay so and... think over it think over it yeah and, sure. and see all the events step by steps you know when mm-hmm. you will see all these scenario step by step then you will be able to see where i have to work you mm-hmm. know and it will mm-hmm. definitely help you to reevaluate your sanskar and you have already potential to reevaluate your sanskar right okay. here okay we have one one more exercise uh, one, uh, ma'am or you have explained that to just write your uh, 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 sensations uh, how the sensations are arising so how the, how mm-hmm. to practice that exercise actually bhaiya say again bhaiya like, what exercise like like some uh, how did you started to react for example some some sensation of uh, uh, mm-hmm. this uh, uh, kind of uh, hot, hot sensation from outside it is happening mm-hmm. it is it started from your leg it started from your uh, uh, body then mm-hmm. how uh, like how step by step you are moving so uh, ma'am or you suggested to write it yes so you can write it for example this scenario that you have described You, know? mm-hmm. you write it in you write it this scenario in steps step number 1 other person is speaking step number 2 sound is coming into my ear step number 3 some physiochemical activity is taking place step number 4 i have decided to read it that's why i am reading it step number 5 i am not reading it as an physiochemical activity i am reading it with my sanskar then next step then next step so you will be more clear you know at what step you have choices to correct it not correct it so this will help you okay okay bhai okay fine okay bhai thank you bhai thank you so much okay welcome here okay so we can take next observation regarding this sources of sensations you know so bhaiya shared that when he talks some particular person you know that sound comes to his ear some sensation takes place then we read that sensation with my decisions and i am not only reading the sensation i start giving meaning to this sensation and this meaning depends on my sanskar if i have some assumptions about the reality i may start reacting to this sensation if i have understanding in my sanskar then i will read it and i will respond it and with decision then i will instruct my body then body start interacting with other person so we have to be aware what is happening step by step you know what is happening at first step second step step 1a 2a this we have to observe more sharply this will help us bhaiya namaste namaste mera jo namaskar karne ke 
प्राइमरी रिक्वायरमेंट के हिसाब से बहुत दिन के बाद आपसे नमस्कार हो पा रहा है और इसलिए कुछ सवाल भी डाउट्स भी क्लियर हो रहे थे मैं जुड़ा हुआ तो हूँ तो जी पहला जो है वो है भैया जैसे मैं मेरे भैया ये ना इंग्लिश इंग्लिश सेशन चल रहा है ठीक है ठीक है भैया मैं हिंदी में ज्यादा कम्फर्टेबल था ठीक है ओके 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 तो आफ्टर आप हिंदी वाले सेशन में भी पूछ सकते हैं नहीं नहीं मैं आई एम कम्फर्टेबल इन इंग्लिश ऑल्सो Okay, because okay, I wish to with you and okay. Okay, sir. So, self to body observation. So, I have some problem with one of the eyes and uh, just three four days gone. So, and there was there has been a pain, palpitation, and uh, vision is also reducing, uh, and it has become. Uh, semi opaque okay mm -hmm. but as such uh, self is observing that and deciding to go to the doctor showing it and it it will be med medicines uh, are naturally medicines will take care of it so of the 207 plus 32 teeth uh, bones and so much uh, uh, systems are working it is only one what self is deciding it is only one portion and let the show must go on let the continuity i am continuing my regular routine it's still so this is one observation and another question may i put it right now ji 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 the other question is uh, there has been a virangana uh, matlab for girls females to train them for 7 days as our that thing goes exercises so uh, what was that uh, it was from the society's support financial support okay so in that uh, since it was for the girls and naturally their strength is to be increased and they have to face the world so that kind of training early morning get up yoga then martial arts and then mantras and it was arranged organized by aryan samaj okay arishma swami dayanand okay mm -hmm. so in that it was from support so i also participated and gave some four figures it was just uh, my participation in that okay so but it so happened that uh, they for motivation purposes or something else they announced certain figures and with person's name from dice okay so uh, initial stages i i just ignored 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 but when i saw ki there were some people on five figures there were many people in four figures there were some three figures and two three figures more and and their names were announced and uh, um, mine was not coming so of course i ignored and i did not uh, but there was a initial uh, inside there was a reaction and response was okay it's okay because i have done my part and they so uh, how i put it okay i was not disturbed i did not ask anybody but i am putting it before you that uh, and naturally uh, the reaction portion is also coming and i am associated for the last uh, 2009 with our concept in hindi and english both and uh, attending to friday evening discourse also from dr perumal so bhaiya coming from eyes Yeah, yeah. Suppose yeah. this sensation is going on, this mm. session is going on. So if it is something important going on for you, and you think it is very important to listen, and yeah, yeah. answer of this question. Yeah. So during that time, you decide not to read sensation coming from eyes. Yeah, concentration with you, deliberation. Right. Yeah, concentration means my decision. my dear yes it is my dear yes 
so i take decision to listen this uh, session at that time i don't read the sensation coming from the eyes yes. so this is good observation that it is up to me it is up to my decision which sensation i will read or not read so it is my decision so this is good bhaiya and many of us are able to observe it that sensations are taking place but i decide which sensation is to be read or not yeah yeah so yeah. this is happening with all of most of the co explorer that they are able to observe it and this is very good indicator that exercise is going on in a right manner because we in the morning are exploring from 5:30 onwards i am of course in matlab awake awake in state but initial stages as the day goes matlab starts with yoga and all that but now i am conversing with you i am sitting on tight and listening everything abc acceleration break and concentration clutch right so yes. it is all that. so this is yes. my status as present right very nice bhaiya so regarding the second sharing yeah. yeah yeah so if you see this event step by step mm -hmm. so i have to work on are... myself is this I, i thought that i have to work on myself ultimately we have to work our on ourselves hai na we have to work on our imagination yeah yeah we have to work on our sanskar but if we Both. see the events step by step then it will be easy to find out where to start work yeah right so regarding your sharing of the second sharing so many names are being announced and yeah. these names are coming these sounds are coming to your ear this is one event that is happening and yeah. and you are taking decision to read all those announcement that's why you are reading all those announcement but while reading those sensations you are filled with many expectations yeah. and now you are uh, so you are not reading sensation as it is you are reading sensations with many assumptions with many expectations yeah so once your na name is not announced so at the level of body nothing has happened your names is not announced that's why you didn't listen that name you know no sensation came came to your ear of your name so at the level of body nothing has happened but at the level of consciousness we are trying to read sensation with many assumptions and many expectations that's why we generally do not respond to this sensation we generally start reacting to this sensation otherwise sensation is sensation it is yeah. my name or others name it impacts on the body it's same some physiochemical activities take place when some sound comes touch into and uh, this come in touch with the body but i am observing it i am reading this sensation with some assumption with some expectations and that creates problem in me right bhaiya so in uh, coming sessions we will study this chart you can see on this screen we will see it step by step how sensation take place how it affects my body then how i decide to react or respond to that sensation then how i decide to give instruction to the body this, this all we will see but as you are saying and pandit bhaiya was also saying we have to be aware step by step and what is happening at the level of body now what happens in me and how, how i associate meaning to these sensations so if i am reading that sensation with expectations and expectations are not met then i will be in a reaction if i am reading that sensation 
with my understanding understanding of relationship harmony and coexistence then i have a choice to respond that sensation so here sanskar comes into picture you know if i am not aware of that sanskar i read sensations with many assumptions many expectations and due to that assumption or expectation i give some meaning to that sensation and i may get influenced by those meaning so i am getting victim of, victim of it if my name is not being called i am getting victim of it so i am getting victim of it because i have those kind of sanskar so this we will see and the more we observe these events step by step the more we will be able to see choices i have many choices and we can figure out it those choices right bhaiya we all can practice it now we have to practice to see the events step by step where i am involved where body is involved where my decisions are involved it will give us clarity yeah? where i can interrupt in my consciousness to convert reaction into response so keep practicing it thank you everyone